Welcome to Scorched Earth and a general mid-month reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon or Ascendant for the last two weeks of May. I hope you will. Uh, we're using the, well, no, we're not. We're using the Night Sun Tarot for you today. Which is interesting. Mm, now, if you haven't seen one of these mid-month videos before, structure them slightly differently to how I do the main monthly readings in so much as what I will do is pull three cards for your current energy see where you're at at the moment and then three cards looking for the lesson right what is the energy that you are in at the moment trying to teach you somewhere sometimes it's trying to teach you something sometimes it's just sort of laying the ground for the new things that come in I and I started developing this kind of way of reading because I found that if you could detach a little bit from what was going on around you enough that you can see the lesson that is you know contained within that energy it makes it easier to navigate right? it makes you feel a little bit well sometimes you know less victimized I guess I think is the word but certainly this practice of detachment like pull back take a take a macro view shut that Take a macro view of what's going on, <clears throat> right? Gets your perspective back in. So, if that doesn't make sense, bear with me because I'm sure it will by the end of the reading. And we'll close out with some uh, cards of advice. So, given as you are at the bottom now, there's temperance. Seems like a good place to stop shuffling. So, just put it in because I don't like knowing what the bottom card is until I've pulled them. Could I have three cards for Sagittarius' current energy, please? There's one. Oh, we've got two come out together. Mm. So the first card out is the tower, but it's in reverse. And we've got the Knight of Wands and the Five of Wands here. And one more, please. Thank you. And we have the Ace of Cups. That's incredible. We have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. This is interesting, Saji, because not only have you appeared, which is really, really nice. I love it when signs appear in their own readings because it means that they're, you know, displaying their energy really authentically. But uh, look at how the colours carry across in those three cards. They're absolutely extraordinary. Now, what I feel about the energy that you're in at the moment is that change is coming, right? And I actually feel like you can feel it, Saji, like big change is coming. And this will have its expression in lots of different ways for all of you. you know, for some of you, it, it, it's the possibility of an impending house move. For some of you, it's, it's you know a complete change of perspective on the way that you have viewed things around you. Right? We've got lots of wand energy here. And although the tower is a card of uh, principally Scorpio, so it gives it that kind of water element, it's quite fiery too. The fact that it's come up in the reverse makes me think that the change that you are preparing for is not yet here. It is in the offing though, and it's almost like you can smell it in the wind. And it feels like what you are busying yourself with at the moment, and you do feel quite busy, Saji, quite busy, is kind of preparing the groundwork for this because the amount of upheaval that is coming like I said, it feels like you can smell it on the wind and you're getting ready so that you can kind of charge at it in the best possible way. We've got these two aces here, Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> and I feel like the Ace of Cups in this sense is actually like a reshuffling around of your priorities. It feels quite strongly there. It's like sowing seeds for new things. I mean, both the, the, the Aces cards are potential. They are, you know, that that seed planting thing here but there are big changes that you're making in your material world too the pentacles can be money and often that's that's the only way that they're interpreted but I see pentacles as energetic currency so where it is that you're putting your time and your care and your effort and your energy and all of those things right it feels like it's getting ready to shift. It's getting ready to move. You're ready to put your energy into a different direction. And all of this here that's on the table feels like it's in preparation for that big shift that's coming. Now we've got the five of ones here and that would normally be a card of conflict, but actually I feel it being here. Let me see that card there. It feels more like rising to the occasion for you, Saj. Almost like a way in which 
it is possible for you to start flexing the muscles that you've been building over the course of this last year. We're really getting um, a, a sense of self, a big sense of self, rather than a sense of you know what everybody else told you was yourself. And rather than conflict, it's, it's more like competition, but not in competition with anyone else. It's almost like a, a getting ready to spread your wings and see exactly what it is that you can achieve for yourself when you really put your mind to it. And I love the fact that you're doing the groundwork for this, such because this isn't that kind of spontaneous, slightly reckless energy that you might have in your youth been guilty of. This is a plan. This is something that you are getting ready to set in motion in not in reaction to the change that is coming, because there's almost an element of you bringing this change in here towards yourself. But it's almost like when that energy hits and you know it's coming, you're going to be able to be absolutely spontaneous, but with the benefit of, of uh, a mature consideration of what is needed for the best possible result for you. I really like this. Let's have a look at the lesson in here for you, although it seems you know, quite obvious what that might be. Tell me about the lesson for Sagittarius, please. We have the Four of Wands. Yeah. We have the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Oh, oh, that's wonderful. One more, please. Thank you. And the Devil. This is amazing. Right. We've got the Magician at the bottom of the deck here. Now, this is a card of manifestation, right? It's the card of power and it really does feel like you coming into your own, Sag. It's really starting to happen now and a, a critical part of this has been your own self-belief, you know? You might have found that through a lot of things that you've actually achieved, they've been done to prove other people wrong about you more than actually being you know what it is that you want to achieve this magician is more about a focusing of will right and bringing everything that you have to the table in order to bring this about now in terms of what we've got down here we've got the four of wands like i said that five of swords and the eight of swords together and i think that that's absolutely critical for you and then we've got this devil and i think this is a beautiful reading for you, the, the energy here is absolutely beautiful and the lesson is really beautiful. With the Four of Wands, we've got the creation of a new foundation, right? One where your heart is safe in the centre of that, but you are kind of constructing this new space around yourself, you know, in, in time. And it's not too far away, Saji. Your external environment will be a perfect reflection of what is going on inside of you. And what has gone on inside of you is, is a profound change profound insight, profound maturation, and um, uh, I was going to say expansion, but it's kind of the wrong word, a, a release of your own emotions right, into the world. And now there's this beautiful balance coming. But it's coming by your hand. It's not happening by accident, right? You're doing all of the groundwork. You're building everything in the way that you need to, right? The lesson here is the understanding that you can fashion the world as you want to see it. You know, I, I think a lot of a lot of your life, Sagittarius, has been about making do. Hmm? Uh, that resilience that Sagittarians are so, you know, renowned for. We... There's an opportunity here to build something really beautiful if you put the groundwork into it and if you have the right intentions about it and bringing everything that you have to the table. And a huge part of that is working out where your thinking has been skewed over the years. Now, this might have been skewed by the opinions of other people, but you took them on board, right? You internalised them. And the lesson for you is actually about trust in yourself and, and a more gentle approach. Pull that up again. A more gentle approach to the way that you see yourself because because some of you will have suffered from anxiety and overthinking and all that sort of thing. The Eight of Swords is about being trapped in your own mind. And 
that's happened a lot with the five of swords here particularly you know it's like the ways in which you've berated yourself over the years and the ways in which you have felt like <clears throat> you were no more than what everybody said you were and almost it didn't really matter how much you tried to change that people were always going to have their opinions of you and so your response to that in a lot of ways was to become quite armor plated about things but what's been going on inside was altogether more painful this is about breaking free of that releasing yourself from that and and actually tapping into your true potential Sagittarius this really is how it feels and facing down some of the things that have really scared you over the years you know I don't think there's much honestly that scares you you know you're bomb proof you know you can do what is necessary and you can move away from things if it's required too but there's a sense of you having kind, kind of carried this fear around with you. And it's one of the reasons we've talked about this at length, right, in the, uh, in the monthly videos about how y you've kind of locked your emotions away and, and put, them, put them to one side because they weren't useful to you out here in the world. The thing is, you've always had this incredible ability to manifest. You just manifest what you need and it's all cool. But but with your priorities changing, with them all shifting, what you're looking to manifest now is something of more of an emotional nature, right? Emotionally safe. <sighs> Emotionally fulfilling, for sure. But you've only been using three quarters of the elements that were available to you, right? And the energy that you're in at the moment like this sense of purpose that you have in preparing the ground for the next phase of your life, because this is this is how big this feels, Sad. It's about tapping into every last bit of it, right? You've got a got a at least a twenty five percent increase in manifestation ability through trusting in yourself, believing in yourself, and allowing yourself to access these emotions that have been so closed off to you for such a long time. Yeah, it might have been that you've you've been having a month of you know revelations and insights about yourself, about the way that you operate, and the reasons why you do the things that you do, and that's the first step in releasing yourself from them because observation is processing. You know, it's incredible. Let's get some cards of advice, please, for Sagittarius. Ooh, we have the Lovers card. Ooh, we have the Three of Pentacles, and we have the nine of wands mm. <clears throat> we've got the knight of swords at the bottom of the deck so if you have got to the point where you are now able to open up verbally i would continue with that because we've got the six of one uh, yes yeah, six of wands directly underneath that it's a card of leo and this is gemini interestingly and we will be heading into gemini season very very soon it's like the success comes from you keeping open dialogues with the people that you trust, the people that you are building this new foundation with. You know? um, and it's it's part of what's unlocking for you the ability to be able to get these insights about yourself. Right? You, you know, when, when thoughts are kind of swirling around in a, in a morass, sometimes it's difficult to make sense of them. And sometimes all you need to do is open your mouth and say the thing. And don't worry if you don't get the sentence right the first time. It's about... For you, it's actually even just the act of trying because it's not something that you've done before. And like anything that you're kind of new at, you're going to stumble a few times before you get it exactly right, you know. But practice makes perfect with so many things. You get used to be able to be able to, used to being able to articulate the things that worry you, the things that scare you, the, the, the things you know, where you need a bit of emotional kind of propping up at points maybe or just being heard I think that's probably the biggest one just being heard um, <clears throat> the more you do it the better you will get at it I mean, not a shadow of a doubt so the cards that you've got down here is uh, advice is I said we've got the lovers card major arcana also Gemini again we've got the three of pentacles and we've got the nine of wands now as advice the lover's card can can speak to a, a couple of things here, you know, um, 
first off being that the lovers, you know, one of the interpretations for the lovers card is that of a choice, but not just any choice, right? It's conscious co-creation. What is the life that you're wanting to build for yourself, Sag? Right? Don't expect it to fall into your lap. You do need to do some of the groundwork. You've been doing it already. Continue on, on in that vein because you're starting to tap into all of the elements now, right? Your manifesting power is really on point, certainly at this point in the month anyway. But the other thing is um, that the lovers talks about is union. You know, it's, it's coming together with other people. Now, I think that for the most part, the people that are surrounding you now, Saj, are a better quality of people than you have had perhaps in a long time, right? And where there is that trust that is building, right? Work on that, build on that. And if you get to a point where you're starting to feel the self-sabotage kicking in there, just take a step back a little bit and look at things logically for what they are, right? Try and trace it back almost as well. Like see where these feelings came from in the first time in the first place you know the, the next card that we've got is the three of pentacles uh, <clears throat> which is a card of cooperation and collaboration too right it's working together with other people to build something so as a card of advice it would be don't be too hasty to do everything all by yourself you know working in tandem with people and taking steps together collectively and particularly if they're involved some way, you know, directly or indirectly in what it is that you're trying to build. You know, there's a power in numbers here, Saj, and you have an ability to be able to to light up and inspire people, right? You can get people excited about things. We use that, and that's one of your skills, you know. But it has its benefits for you too. Not only does it get done what you're trying to do faster, but it's building something really, really solid and building does seem to be the order of the day for you. It is where your mind is going at this point, right? Certainly what you're working towards. Now, the final card that you've got advi of, of advice, I cannot speak today, is the Nine of Wands. And, um, you know, we're accustomed to this meaning, you know, boundaries, perhaps, you know, needing to instill boundaries, needing to maintain boundaries, needing to enforce boundaries. And there's quite likely an aspect of that here, right? Recognising your own boundaries and everything that goes with that, but also recognising other people's, right? It doesn't have to be a chore. It can be something that can be really quite beautiful. Right? Look at that card there. He's fashioning those ones into something really, you know, I think it's rather lovely, actually, what he's doing there with that. <clears throat> boundaries and everything about boundaries doesn't need to be hard work it it feels like it initially at times particularly when you're kind of, uh, kind of trying to respect other people's boundaries as well and you kind of like i'm not quite sure where they are I just kind of teeter around a little bit but actually it's the opportunity for you to build really long-lasting fulfilling solid relationships doing them in tandem with people and not feeling like you need to you know retreat horrifically it's really important but it's also about continuing to put the work in you know everybody's got their bit to do if you let them they will do it but you keep working on this. Well, whatever your plan is, you're constructing something really, really beautiful here, Saj. And the advice is just to continue doing that, you know? It's beautiful, but it also has utility, which I like. It's very efficient. It's very good. So <clears throat> this is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Uh, honestly, all in all, I think it's really, really good. To be honest, it's really solid progression forwards. And it's one that's in alignment, actually, with the way that you like to work. But a more mature version of that than you've been able to, perhaps, manifest in the past. That is wonderful. Right. 
know that I love you all very, very much, and I will see you soon.